Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Advance Wars 2 War Room. Today we're going to be doing Ridge Island, which if you remember from the first Advance Wars project, this is probably one of my least favorite maps just due to the uh, conditions we are given for this map. Grit is still the enemy CO for this map, and the only thing that really makes this map easier in this game as opposed to the last game is we have a wider variety of COs to choose from. If it wasn't for that, this map would probably be the hardest, but honestly I think there's a few others that are actually more difficult than this. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Let's uh, pick our CO. I've thought long and hard about this, and I think I'm either going to choose Sammy or Colin. I think I'm actually going to go with Colin here, so let's uh, do it. Let's get started. For those who don't remember, the... Uh, basic uh, CO powers that Colin has is that during day-to-day -day, his troops are actually cheaper than uh, anybody else's but that comes with a price a very huge price and that his units are actually some of the weakest in the game so you know we don't get a lot of uh, bang for our buck but we don't have to spend very much of our buck either so that is definitely the advantage of Colin, I guess you could say. Uh, let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, my basic strategy for this is pretty much the same strategy I used in the uh, Advance Wars 1 playthrough of this map. Uh, what you want to do is you want to definitely aim for the uh, top part first and kind of ignore this side. I'm going to go ahead and send one of my troops over here, but the rest of my troops I am going to send up here and... Again, same basic strategy as I used before. Just, uh, you know, get a tank and an infantry and just keep marching. As usual, Grit is going to use the, again, the same exact strategy he used before in the uh, last Advance Wars game. He's going to focus more on heading down this way as opposed to this way. I don't really know why. I think it's because of the road. I think that road is probably the only reason why he even does this. But that's okay, because that's going to end up working well for us in the end, so... Why try to fix something that's not broken? That's a good way to live your life, honestly. May not seem like it, but hey. What do I know? I'm playing freaking YouTube uh, video games throughout my whole duration of my life, so I guess I'm not exactly the best judge of that. Oh wow, he's actually... I never actually saw him do that before. He usually sends the APC down here and kind of ignores uh, sending any units this way, but I think he might actually be trying something new for once. That's the thing, though. You can't really expect the uh, strategies to be the same through every single playthrough of this game. They're, they're going to be different at some point. And, well, the whole basic premise of this is you have to adjust to all these strategies. You can't really expect to do the same thing over and over again. So, you know, just keep doing something until it works and keep being persistent. That's really all you have to do here. How I'm going to go uh, next is actually going to be very determinate on what he does here. Okay, he is sending those troops down this way, which is kind of good. I'm honestly not really sure yet. This is honestly just so different than what he normally does. It's kind of creepy, in all honesty. But I'm not going to uh, get hung up on that because we have a war to uh, fight. With all wars, we must destroy the enemy. Uh, yeah, let's keep capturing. We're gonna go up here, you're gonna stay right here, and you are gonna do the same. Oh, if things get too crazy here, I might just uh, start sending tanks down this way, too. Actually, let me see. Let's see if maybe he keeps the rocket in range. He's not going to move it, so that is one good thing about this. 
Also, a good thing about uh, this game, as opposed to the last game, is we have Neo Tanks we can use if we uh, are in any dire need of them. Okay, well, look at that. He actually uh, kind of gave me some room to uh, hurt his units here. Need to be kind of cautious, though, because he did kind of bring this up. I freaking don't like when he does that, but remember, we have to adjust to these strategies here. Fortunately, not much I can do with this. So I'm just going to bring you up, hurt you, and then hurt you. As for the artillery, we're just going to have to do damage to it next turn when it actually fires. And as for you, we're going to go ahead and uh, damage you, get you hurt, move you up. And I could actually build the Neo Tank. You know what? Let's do it. Let's build the Neo Tank. It gave us the uh, opportunity to have it this early. We might as well use it. Oh wow, it actually didn't even go for any of my tanks. That's strange. That's almost creepy. But, as you can see, we do have a medium tank now, so... Yeah, we can't get too overconfident, because we still have the big gun to deal with. Quite literally, the big gun. Can you hurt me? Yes, you can. Wish I could go here, but I can't, so I have to, once again, adjust to uh, the cards I've been dealt. I could just uh, see how much this will do. Uh, not very much. Well, um, let me think, let me think. Should I go ahead and risk it? It's going to get some firing in me no matter what, so I might as well just kind of... See what I can do with this. Wish I would have moved this one more space forward this way so I can move the tank here, but oh well. That's okay. Right now, I'm just worried about taking out that uh, medium tank. That's the only concern I have right now. Okay, snipe attack. This could be a little problematic. Not really, not really. Again, they're going for all my infantry. They're not even going for my tank units, which is a big problem for them. That's not going to be good for them. Especially now that I can kind of level the playing field even more. How, you may ask? Just wait, I'll show you guys in due time. First of all, let's, uh, get rid of you. Can you do anything aside from that? Not really. Okay, well... No matter what, you guys are going to get involved. So let's uh, just keep this going. Uh, with you here to the front lines. Yep. I would start capturing, but I'll wait before I do that. And I'll just combine you so I get some extra funds. You can move up. Well, you can actually move up too, because I'm going to use my CO power here, so I can get some more funds. That is the good thing about Colin, he can literally produce money. I'm actually going to buy three infantry right here, so I can have a little more stuff down here. Again, as you can see, they're not really even pushing the top part of the battle, which is kind of weird. Yeah, they're going to keep on pushing that way because there's no units to defend. I wish I actually knew of that 
Well, I guess I did kind of have the strategy in Advance Wars 1, but I didn't think it would work this well. Hmm. I like this. I'm not going to lie. This is actually going pretty well. Uh, I do need to kind of start working here, so let's uh, get right in there and uh, smash them some things. Okay, you can go up there. You can't. You're the only one that can, so let's uh, just focus on you then. As for you, you're going to help destroy this. Ah, oh well. I just wanted to get rid of him for right now. We're gonna start capturing. As for you... Oh, let's just destroy units. Sounds like a good idea to me. Don't quite have enough for another Neo tank, but I will very soon. That's the good part about Colin. He can produce money out of thin air. And I like when he does that. It's a good feeling. And again, they're not aiming for the tanks at all. I don't know what he's... Doing, drinking, smoking, whatever he's doing, he's not doing what he should be. Not that I'm trying to complain or anything, not at all, it's just kind of strange. Kind of creepy, almost. It's like right here, they're not doing anything, they're just giving me a chance to move through. Okay, cool. All we gotta do now is essentially just get rid of these guys, block up their forces, and... We're done. We need to get rid of this mech, though. The mech is like the most dangerous thing they have. In the front, anyway. Obviously, when you look down here, yeah, there's a lot more to watch out for, but... Right now, really, just... Giving this victory to me. I can use Gold Rush again, actually. This actually went a lot better than my practice run of this. <laughs> Mainly because something completely different happened. This is not what happened before. Again, not complaining. I, I, I love what's happening right now. Very nice, very good. It also helps that uh, this unit right here is taking away so much of the funds whenever Grit gets any funds. And they're still going down! They're not even moving towards my capturing force. They're going for all the infantry. They're not going for any of my, you know, my actual troops. Okay, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use these guys to take out the rocket because rockets have very weak defenses as opposed to these guys. They have a little more, a little more bang. Okay, finish capturing that. Boom. I mean, now I guess I could start covering up some of the bases, but first I want to take out these guys. These guys are kind of trying to take me over from behind.
Yeah, sure, why not? Not feel that much. Okay. Infantry. Yeah, this is pretty much the way you do it. Actually, this is what I can do. That works. I think we will see a super snipe on this guy, but that's fine. At this point, it's just... It's not going to work for him anymore. Okay, <clears throat> let's see. Now we need to start kind of backing up a little bit. Just a little bit, though. This is not a means of me giving up. This is a means of me uh, holding off these guys while sending these guys in for even more damage. Let's keep going. Okay. Now the thing is, we don't want too many of my guys to get eaten up here. I still have technically an invasion to uh, make here. Plus you're just going to keep on doing that. Also, yeah, let's put you back to speed. I'm gonna send the guys up here to focus on this guy who's capturing. Meanwhile, I'm not gonna use Gold Rush, I'm just gonna use... Um, well, I'm not gonna use anything, basically. Okay, they're going to start focusing on the north now, now that they have kind of captured everything down here. Nope, they're still going to push this way. I just don't get it. Why are they doing this? I know why they did that. I mean, that's kind of obvious. Unfortunately, though, you have a blind spot. Always have to cover your blind spots. For it, that's what you have to do. Also, I just realized I have this guy right here. He's like literally this deep into the territory. Which means I could start using this to my advantage. Don't think. No, he's fine. He's fine. Okay, cool. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hurt you. No, no, not from there. Not from there. This is what I want to do. Then I'm just going to hurt you. Bring you up here. I'm not gonna capture though. He's not going to be able to do anything. I don't want him to get to the freaking end there, so I'm going to build two tanks. You're almost dead, so let's save you. And yeah, let's see what 
guns from this. Eh, he might get regular snipe, but if he does, that's fine. No, he doesn't even have one star. He barely has one star. Damn, though, you gotta really appreciate freaking destructive range like that, though. My god. Grit is definitely one dangerous mofo. this though. Capture. And next turn we should have this as long as I don't do anything stupid. I mean I don't think he can actually hurt me. He might do one damage and if he does, well dang it, this about it. I mean, at this point all he has are just freaking infantries, recons, a few damaged tanks, and that's it. And this guy, but I don't think you can really even use this guy. Yep, okay, he is going to use Snipe Attack, but... Fine, go ahead. Destroy that 7 HP tank. See if I care. Dang it! Okay, this is going to take one extra turn. Just one. more often game. You could try to help me out a little bit. Although I know your answer for that is no. We need to make everything super complicated for no reason. Um. And boom. try to beat this by routing all the units, but... In fact, I probably could, now that I think about it. Let's see what we have. He does have 46,000 gold, though, jeez. Grit could seriously start using his money as toilet paper. Something creepy like that, anyway. Okay, let's uh, finish this up. I'm gonna try to go for a route. I think I can, I don't see why I couldn't. Especially at this point. Yes, Blue Moon, help me out. I'm trying to take out one of your own troops. <laughs> Besides, this was kind of appropriate because Colin does look up to Grits, so I felt like that was kind of appropriate to have some uh, Colin on Grit action, despite how wrong that sounds. 
But yeah, there we go. That was Ridge Island. I... Not quite an S rank, but that's pretty damn close. Hell, I bet I probably would have gotten the S rank if I would have taken one turn less. I mean, that was like, what, 15 days? 16, close enough. That was pretty good. Not, not bad. Not bad at all. So yeah, if you need a, a good CO choice for this level, uh, Colin is definitely up there. I'm sure there's definitely a few ways you could alternate or alter my strategy to make it more beneficial, but that's pretty much what you want to do. You want to have a very quick assault on grit, only focus on one of the fronts, and uh, only, you know, defend that other front if you really have to. And yeah, just focus on one of the fronts and maybe he'll just ignore what you're doing and just go for the other one. It's a strategy that works pretty well. It worked well in Advanced Wars 1, it worked well in this game too, so I'll take it. But yeah, this has been Slim Kirby. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next weekend for Neil's Hope. This one's going to be actually kind of challenging, so I hope you guys will enjoy it. Later, folks.